Lethal Trust. Chapter 1. Hell on Earth. 6.30 p.m. Sunday, September 14, 1913. The Tombs, New York City Prison, Halls of Justice Building. The blood sacrifice has been fulfilled. Anna and her baby are dead. In his cell in the New York City prison known as the Tombs, 32-year-old Roman Catholic priest Father Hans Schmidt is supine atop a dark green wool blanket covering the flattened horsehair mattress on the narrow cot. Shivering in the cold with his arms crossed, he tucks his fisted hands deep into his armpits for the stingy bit of warmth they provide. The institutional gray painted concrete floors are crawling with vermin, and the rat infested cells of Murderer's Row are as close to hell on earth as it gets. Dug into the subterranean bowels of Manhattan, the blackened granite walls are frigid and slimy to the touch. The slime is actually a fungal growth that's found deep in humid spaces with inadequate airflow. The conditions in the tombs are ideal, so the infestation of black mold thrives. The combination of foul odors from the mold and filth create an inescapable stench that reeks like old piss and mushrooms. Murderer's Row is a block of 20 cells off a wide corridor with 10 cells on each side. Each cell measures 5 feet wide, 8 feet deep, and 7 feet high, and is locked down with a solid steel door made of 3 inch wide by 3 quarter inch thick steel bands that overlap each other in a basket weave pattern and are held together with large steel rivets. Where the steel bands intersect, small square openings are left to help ventilate the cells. Little air enters the cell block, so the thick, stagnant air settles and hangs everywhere. 